The pandemic has dragged out for over a year now, of course. South Korea began its vaccination campaign in late February, aiming to reach herd immunity by November. And now it seems that could be possible, in fact, by September. The country has been working to develop its own vaccines, but it's also been making them on consignment for companies in other countries. For more on this, our Pei Eunji joins us today in the studio. Eunji, it's great to have you here uh, in the studio today. Good afternoon. Well, you've been uh, putting together some information on this, and right now we know that around the world there are 96 COVID-19 vaccines uh, in clinical trials and 184 candidates uh, before that stage in pretrial uh, development. So uh, Korean companies are, of course, involved in this race to develop vaccine and manufacture them. So how far has Korea gotten in its uh, efforts to develop vaccines? Um, well, Devin, some domestically developed vaccines could finish their clinical trials by the end of this year and start distribution by next year. Um, currently, five domestic companies have got the approval to conduct clinical trials for their vaccine candidates in South Korea. Of them, two companies are in phase two of their clinical trials. SK Bioscience has two vaccine candidates. One of them has finished phase one, and the other one is currently in both phase one and two. Another vaccine developer, U-Biologics, is waiting for its phase one trial results, aiming to begin phase two in June. And one other company is in phase one of its clinical trials. We plan to begin phase three clinical trials in the second half of this year. If this happens, we plan on getting the conditional approval by the end of this year and distributing the vaccines starting early next year. SK Bioscience is another, is another company that also aims to begin phase three clinical trials in the second half of this year and start vaccine distribution next year. So next year we could have viable vaccines developed right here in Korea. That's good news. Uh, people have heard that there are different types of vaccines. Maybe they've heard of the mRNA uh, technique used by Pfizer or the viral vector technique uh, used by AstraZeneca. So here in Korea, which of these approaches are these different companies taking? Um, well, none of the five local developers are working on mRNA vaccines that Pfizer and Moderna are using, but they are working on vaccines similar to AstraZeneca and Novavax. Two companies, SK Bioscience and U Biologics, are working on making protein subunit vaccines, which is the traditional way of developing vaccines. This is similar to the technology used by Novavax. This type of vaccine spurs an immune response in the recipient by injecting a spike protein from the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is the virus that causes COVID-19. It also adds chemical agents called adjuvants to stimulate a stronger immune response. Another company called Celid is developing viral vector vaccines like the ones developed by AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson. This technology uses a harmless virus as a delivery system to trigger the immune system to create antibodies. The other two companies, Genexin and Gene One Life Science, are working on DNA vaccines. Well, Ng, not every country has the capability to make vaccines like this. Uh, Korea, of course, this shows how developed the science and uh, the pharmaceutical industry is here. But why is it important for Korea to have access to be able to source its own vaccines locally? And as you said, it'll be ready maybe a year, next year or so. Um, by that time, will there still be demand for vaccines? Um, well, an industry watcher that I talked with said they're important in order to quickly respond to any other infectious diseases that might break out after this pandemic is over. Homegrown vaccines are needed to secure vaccine sovereignty. Developing vaccines and treatments against the virus is a way to protect citizens in the post-COVID-19 era and an essential factor in doing what the nation needs to do. Well, the chief of KDCA, Jung eun Kyung, had also said that COVID-19 may not be a virus that can be stopped by getting vaccinated just once or twice, like smallpox and polio, but a virus that could break out every year. If this is the case, it will require an annual vaccination program leading to high demand. Also, vaccines are still needed in other countries as well. The U.S. and Europe may have plenty of vaccine supplies, but for places like Asia and in Africa, they still need to secure more vaccines. And with cases of variants of the virus, there's going to be demand. 
So, NG, South Korea is, in fact, not only developing its own vaccines, but it's making doses of vaccines that were developed in other countries, and millions of those doses will, be, will feature prominently in the country's vaccine campaign. So tell us about this uh, manufacturing on consignment here in Korea. Um, SK Bioscience is currently producing AstraZeneca vaccines at its plant in Andong City, and they're also planning on manufacturing Novavax vaccines as early as June. Novavax had signed a licensing agreement with the South Korean company in August last year to produce 40 million doses of its vaccine. SK Bioscience plans to roll out 10 million doses of the Novavax vaccine within the third quarter, and 20 million more in the fourth quarter. All right, NG, a comprehensive and in-depth look at uh, South Korea's efforts to develop and roll out vaccines. Thanks for putting that together. Thank you.